What's up my crusaders for Christ? Y'all know the drill. Go to YouTube, go to at sign, go, go, go team, like, and subscribe. You guys, I really don't have like a message of scripture prepared. I just want to get on here and tell you guys how amazing God is and share a little bit of my testimony from the weekend. So I'm out in my garden, hence my gardening hat here. And I start thinking about, you know, pulling up, I'm pulling up weeds. So I'm thinking about how I got to remove these weeds and how some of my plants are growing and, and some take longer than others. And you know how my blueberry tree looks wonderful, but it hasn't produced any fruit, so on and so forth. Um, and I'm starting to think about my weekend and I'm thinking yesterday, my husband and I got a beautiful opportunity to volunteer um, at the recovery home, Evolution House and Faith Recovery Center. Those guys that are running it are doing an incredible job. You guys know that recovery is part of my story, so that's really true to my heart. And the people that were there were amazing. There was so much Jesus there yesterday. And, you know, I'm looking at all these people, and whether you were somebody that was volunteering or somebody that came for the Family Day event, you know, every single person mattered. And we got a beautiful opportunity to network with other Christians and a motorcycle ministry and we met a gentleman who uh, does Christian films. I will put a link in my bio for that. They're free Christian movies. He was an incredible guy, just absolutely beautiful. And then today we go to church. We watch one of our guys from Bible study get baptized. Glory to God for that. Not only that, but his wife and his in-laws and his parents were all able to be there. So it was just so incredible. So then we fellowship and stuff afterwards. And I just can't help but think, you know, gardening is a lot like life. Sometimes you gotta pull out those weeds and you've gotta get rid of the ones that are not conducive to the growth. And I think as human beings, we try to hold on to a lot of people from our past or things like that. Maybe there's a reason that God had to pull them out of our garden of life. Um, and some of us take time to grow longer than others. And that's okay because every single thing that I've planted, I have different expectations from. I don't expect my watermelons to taste like okra. And, and I don't expect my blueberries to, to grow like my beans. Those things are, it takes the entire garden in order for me to be able to have a harvest. So, I love you guys with the love of the Lord. I pray that you guys are out there and you are go, go, going, telling the world about Jesus because you never know who you're going to meet and what kind of glory that's going to bring to the kingdom. So, let's go, go, go and tell the world about Jesus.